G'day folks, this is Cliff from Down Deep Adventures. Today we're out at Morton Island. I've got my two mates with me, Russell and Brendan. I'll drop them in for the first drift. On the surface we can see it's very blue, there's lots of fish on the sounder, so we're expecting good things. So after the two boys had their drift, they didn't see anything too exciting. So uh, I thought I'd jump in, we'd have a different drift on a slightly different spot and see how we went. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is paid for, all is said and done. see a few parrotfish but not that interested in shooting one at this point hoping to find some better fish so the fish we were looking for we didn't really find on this drift but honestly it's an absolute pleasure diving on days like this just crystal clear blue water beautiful reef beautiful structure yeah on days like this just any fish is just a bonus yeah so after this drop it's time to pack up and go somewhere else After sounding around for a while, we found a nice little ledge. Judging from the sound, we thought we found a large school of surgeon fish hugging pretty close to the bottom, which is always a promising sign for like, some quality reef species. The story's over now, I must conclude. I am conflicted watching where I step still. Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live. I want to take it all, standing tall. Fear I wait the person you are. Oh. First drop on this little ledge, I was lucky enough to come down and spot that coronation trout off in the distance. I slowly drifted down towards him and yeah, he didn't run away. These coronation trout are generally very difficult to approach. These fish do get a lot bigger, but I think any coronation trout is a good coronation trout. <laughs> Yeah, after I got the coronation trout in the boat, I was pretty excited to get back down there. There was so many surgeon fish and a lot of life.
nice little black spot and off in the distance, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little moo and a bit of a bigger moo out in the background. Russ went down and had a look, but he couldn't find them. But I knew they were there. holding shot on that moo but as you can see it's pretty well wrapped up so I was about 22 meters here and yeah now I have to go back down and untangle it Two good fish in the boat for me now so I'm pretty happy at this point so I swapped out with Brandon and let him jump in and try and get one conditions out here today very flat beautiful viz probably about 30 meters We've got a couple of fish nice moo in a coro happy days Yeah, so we didn't find any more fish on that spot, so packed up and moved on and come across this really nice little bommie and had a lot of fish on it, well, judging from the sounder, so we stopped and had a look. Yeah, that was a really nice gold spot, Rasp, but unfortunately, I stuffed it up. In spearfishing, these things just happen. The rest of the day, we didn't really find many more fish. Off camera, Brendan and I saw a really nice Spanish mackerel. We estimated it around 20 to 25 kilos. Yeah, unfortunately the GoPro died, so I couldn't get that on film for you guys. Yeah, so we just finished the day off diving in a bit of shallow water. Probably only about 10 meters deep. Very relaxing after diving, pretty deep all day. Yeah, so all in all, it was a very enjoyable day. Spent the day out there with a couple of good mates and yeah, we just had a good time. Yeah, so this is a new style of video for me guys, a bit different to the other ones I've made. Uh, if you enjoy this style, just let me know please and I'll keep making them. Yeah, thanks for watching guys.